everybody, let's talk cloths. One of the comments I hear from people quite often is they look at the page that has all the different kitchen cloths and they're like, oh, oh, what do I use for what? So I'm gonna tell you what I use them for. I have, obviously I have every single one of these products, but I also use every single one of these products. Um, we'll start with the counter cloth. It also comes in a box set, which comes with six cloths and this cute little house. You can either keep it on your table, on your counter, and I've seen people hang them on the side of their cabinet with command strips or on their wall if they don't like things on their counter or table. The counter cloths are the size of a half a sheet of paper towel, so that's what I use these for. If I'm having a bagel for breakfast, I'll use this instead of a paper towel. Um, we use these for dinner napkins all the time, every day. Um, my mom and dad come over for dinner probably four times a week, and this is what I use for dinner napkins. I have probably 15 to 18 of them. Um, I only wash my Norwex every couple weeks, so when I'm done, I have a little bucket out in the laundry room and I throw it in there, and that's where I throw all my Norwex. Um, they're great little cleaner uppers, too. A lot of people just use these as their daily clean the counter cloths. Um, highly absorbent. All the cloths except for the netted dishcloth have that lock in them so they won't stink. When you're done using this, even when I use them for napkins, I just put a little drop of dish soap on them, scrub them together, rinse them out well, wring them out, and I'll hang them up to dry if they get dirty. If they don't get dirty, then we'll use the same ones. I, everybody has their own color, so I know who had what color. So we'll all use the same ones again the next night. So that's the counter cloths. Then you have the kitchen cloths. They come in two different forms. This side is ribbed. This one is more like a diamond pattern. They call it a textured cloth, okay? So I find this one picks crumbs up better. Um, with the ribbing, it kind of catches more of the crumbs. Um, this one is a better scrubber, like if you have stubborn spots on your counter, this one would probably do a little bit better job. I like these because I like the colors of them, the amethyst and the turquoise. Um, I use the dish towels every day and I can dry an entire four person load of dinner dishes with one cloth and even when it gets, it's really, really weird, when it gets wet, it almost seems to get more absorbent. Isn't that odd? But that's why I can do the whole load and the cloth is wet when I'm done and I can actually wring out the cloth, but it's still picking up the water off the dishes that I'm drying. They're great, great cloths, well worth the investment. Um, now we're gonna go more into like the little scrubbing tools that you might have. The netted kitchen cloth, this thing, when I first got it, I'm like, I'm never gonna use that because I don't like things like that. Um, you know, the netted, little netted sponges. I never ever used those. It's huge. My daughter cut it in half so she would have four from the package. Um, what I find it works great on is my cast iron pan. You know, you're not supposed to use soap or any of that stuff on your cast iron and this will clean the mess up so easily. Um, it's got a little bit of a scrubbing power to it so you can use it on your pots and pans. You can use it on your non-stick pans. I use it in the sink when I'm peeling potatoes or carrots or if I'm cleaning grapes. I'll just lay this in the bottom of my sink, do what I have to do. I did potatoes the other day. And then I pick up the four corners like this, take it over to the waste basket and just dump it in. I don't have a garbage disposal. So it's really handy. It has, one of the nice things I like about Norwex is everything has a lot of different uses. It's not like this only works as a dish cloth. This only works as a kitchen cloth to wipe counters. You can use so many different things. You can use it for so many different things. So that's the netted dish cloth. Then we have the Enviro Scrub. Comes in a package of three and it will, it has this little scrubby side and then it has an Enviro cloth side. So this is also a good one to use on your pans if you get a little, need a little extra scrubbing power. I use one in the bathroom. Um, before I got the bathroom scrub mitt, I actually had two in the bathroom, one in the shower, 
one by the toilet. I had a dedicated toilet one because that just grosses me out to think of using it for other things. So one would hang by the toilet and one would hang in the shower and one would be in the kitchen. Okay. Um, this is the Enviro sponge, and I will say that it took a while for me to get used to it. It's a little bit scrubby on this side, and then it's got the Enviro cloth on the other side. What I find with this is you have to be really careful to make sure you wring it out well and stand it somewhere to dry. Otherwise, you're going to end up with the same problem that you have with regular sponges, and you're going to get that stink. You know the stink I'm talking about when you pick up an old sponge that's been sitting in water or sitting wet, and then your hand smells all day? Ugh. Make sure you wring it out really well. The Speary sponge is more textured. Okay, um, I would use this on a nonstick before I would use this. I use this for a lot of my general cleaning, like if I'm cleaning my grout in my bathroom. If I'm cleaning something with the cleaning paste, I'll use this because it gives a lot of scrubbing power. I clean my grill with it. Um, you can stick both of these in the dishwasher to clean them if you'd like. Just make sure you take them out right when the dishwasher ends. And again, wring it out really well so they don't spread. So this is the Enviro sponge and the, no. Yeah, this is the Enviro sponge. This is the Speary sponge. Now we have the Spearnet. This is Super Scrubber. This is like your Brillo or your SOS without the soap. So what happens is it will clean like a Brillo pad, it'll clean like an SOS pad, but it's not going to rust. It's not going to run out of soap. You're just gonna be able to scrub forever with this thing, okay? Same exact principle, but it will not rust. You know if you leave your Brillo pad for a day, you go to use it the next day and it's all rusty? You're not going to have that with the Spearnets. Um, they used to have, right now it's not in the catalog. I don't know what's gonna happen with this. Um, they used to have the Mighty Mesh Pot Scrubber, which was my favorite tool because I have arthritis and it was easy for me to hold because it has this little knob. Well, they discontinued the Mighty Mesh Pot Scrubber and they replaced it with the reusable Spearnet handle, which is really a cool concept, okay? So you have the Spearnet handle, you buy the Spearnets, you stick it on there, and then you still have your handle to use when scrubbing. What they found was something happened in the manufacturing and it doesn't stick very well. So it's not up to Norwex's standards, so they pulled it off the market. They haven't put the Mighty Mesh Pot Scrubber back on. It's still available temporarily until they run out of supply. Um, once we know what they're gonna do, we'll, I'll redo this video. I think this concept is awesome because I like the fact of being able to reuse it. You can do that with this, but it's a little bit more difficult. Um, last but not least, the bottle scrubber. Craig and I use water bottles constantly, so it's great to get inside to clean. If you have a wine decanter that you don't want anything scrubbing, you just put the little sleeve on and you can do your wine decanter and it's not going to harm the glass. This is rubber, um, so I don't know that it would, I, I it just wouldn't use it on fine crystal or whatever but that's why they provide the sleeve. I use it in my water bottle. It's perfect. It's a good size for baby bottles. Um, so there's that. And there's all your kitchen cloths and tools. Thank you.